How's it wagon guys? Uh, started making my own kombucha. I didn't get the first part of it filmed, but... Oh, we got the... This part. Uh, it's been sitting for like 11 days. Saturday night, 3.44 a.m. Got some more tea making over there. Nice. You can see it's all still all fizzy. Now right there, that dark spot, that's the one I started in the mason jar. I used like a super green uh, store-bought kombucha. And um, that's why it's discolored. Anyway, I'm gonna reach in here and ooh, it's all stiff. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. Maybe. Hold on. No, don't sink. Come on. Eh, gotcha. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that in here. I don't want it to dry out, so we're going to put a little bit. I got to get used to making videos <laughs> yeah you can see it now just a little bit it's actually less slimy than I thought it'd be It was actually kind of stiff. Anyway. Let me see if this does it better. Yeah. So I put a little sugar in there. For secondary fermentation so it gets all, get all fizzy. It's already kind of fizzy now. Okay, here it goes. Don't fucking spill. Don't... partially carbonated. I'm gonna leave this. There we go. I'm gonna put the rest of this in. Ugh. I gotta wash all that. So it's already partially carbonated. The, how much liquid so this little thing works it's not a fishbowl it's a little cookie bowl I think I got a big plastic fermenting bucket I'm going to use uh, later on now I'll just go set this away for like three days and it'll get all fizzy so I've, I've already tasted it a few times and uh, it was actually pretty good not like the store-bought stuff at all this stuff is amazing
Anyway, just want to make a quick video of that. I'll probably, I'll, I'll definitely make a video of the, of making the big, uh, the big batch of kombucha. So, yeah. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe to see more videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.